Today's the topic is uh, media trustworthiness. And what's happened to the media that we rely on, on the public airwaves, on uh, the, the televisions, mostly televisions, but of course radio, but certainly on, on the TVs across America, on the public airwaves. It doesn't seem like when we tune in to watch the weather that the news is getting reported objectively anymore. What do you think? Well, not to paraphrase, to quote my friend Sean Hannity, journalism is dead in America. To quote my friend Sean Hannity, journalism is dead in America. There's two standards in America. There's one standard for Democrats, another one for Republicans. Steve Bannon's a case in point. He's in prison right now for the exact same thing that Merrick Garland committed, same crime. Merrick Garland would not answer a subpoena to Congress. Nothing happened to him, but Steve Bannon's doing four months in federal prison. It's a joke. Now look, all these people here behind me, yeah. most of them know nothing about Donald Trump, Kamala Harris, or America. Donald Trump must win in November. He must win. If they steal the election again, America will be in communism, yeah. total communism. And quite frankly, I hope there are some Democrats out there watching, normal Democrats, like a good piece of good news happened in California. A Democratic either assembly person or senator in Sacramento converted to the Republican Party the last week. I forget her name, but that's a good sign. We, and now you're gonna, you're gonna die when I, when I tell you this, folks. I believe that Donald Trump can and will win all 50 states on November 5th. That's right, I'm Melrose, Larry Green said that. That means California, that means New York, that means Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Nevada, Arizona. I mean, I don't want to name all 50, but I could. But I, th this, is, this is insane. What Kamala Harris is doing is beyond insane. First of all, she was behind the coup to get rid of Joe Biden. That's number one. Number two, she covered for him for three years. And number three- Co Covered what? It, it, she covered for his ineptitude for three years. Senility? Yes, senility, dementia, all of the above. And then she could have blown the whistle on him, but it's a disgrace that this woman sabotaged Joe Biden and nobody ever voted for Kamala Harris. 14 million people voted for Kamala Harris and she's giving no interviews. She's not talking to anybody on press conferences. She ought to be talking to people like you, Steve Ducey, and people like the, the folks at Newsmax, my friend, Chris Ruddy owns Newsmax. But this is insane. And people are going around acting like Kamala, what? What, she represents nothing. She can't even answer a question. This is embarrassing. And we look like laughing stocks in the world. I'm more concerned about defending Israel. She's all ready to have an arms embargo against Israel. And they're trying to talk it back. Bullshit. Kamala Harris has no right running for president. Kamala Harris ought to go back to Willie Brown and service him like Monica Lewinsky serviced Bill Clinton. You heard me. Monica didn't get a job as the uh, prosecutor. That's the only job that Kamala Harris has created, the, the job of fellatio. Well, well what? She, she's the vice president now. It may be president in days, within days, right? I think there's a better chance of that guy with the boombox becoming president, all right? <laughs> The boombox. Look, folks, I know a lot of you out there think that, that Trump is having problems. These polls are all phony. Every one of these polls are phony. They, everything the Democrats are doing is phony. Everything the Democrats have done with Kamala Harris and Joe Biden is to destroy America. And I love our, but wait a minute, I'm not done. I love our police, folks. I support our police. Every morning I go to the Wilcox station, and it all started with George Floyd in Minnesota, who was not killed by the cop. He had fentanyl in his system, and, and Ellison, the phony DA from Minnesota, altered the medical records. He couldn't breathe from the very beginning. And, this, and then Tim Waltz let Minnesota burn down. And why are all the business leaving Minnesota? How come Minnesota has no more downtown in Minneapolis? Tim Waltz, the man that allowed all those people to burn down the city. And Kamala Harris. Minneapolis, you mean? Minneapolis, yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the whole state of Minnesota is falling apart because of Tim Waltz. Uh, do you think that there's a complicity in him that they know that they can rely on, which is why they selected him, like something bad is coming? Well, there's something bad. You know about having, having him having his stomach pump when he was 17? Why? Hey, folks, I'm not making this up. Your next vice president won the challenge, and he had to have his stomach pump. Now, a liberal would say it's another Tim Waltz who's 17 years old in, on a farm. That was Tim Waltz. And I'm not even talking about the stolen valor where he lied about his service. He didn't serve for one second in Iraq. He deserted his troops on the National Guard, just like John Kerry threw his medals in the water. Uh -huh. But if the public doesn't vote a, a ticket based on who the vice president is, how much of an impact do you think that ought to have? Well, about as much impact as the criticisms of J.D. Vance that are all over CNN and all over MSLSD. Let me give a shout out to Mark Levin, to Dan Bongino. I've been on all their shows because unlike Dan Bongino and, and Hannity, we're Jewish. And I want you to know, I want all you people in Beverly Hills to know, America's best friend in the Middle East is the state of Israel. America's only friend in the Middle East, the only democracy, and if any of you are gay, or, or LBTQ, whatever that is, the only state that supports it in the Middle East is Israel. If you want to be gay in Gaza or in Saudi Arabia, they'll throw you off a building, or Iran or Iraq or Syria, they'll throw you off a building if you're gay. Uh -huh. so, so what do you think about the media depiction of the Israel defense war to protect its people from the, the Palestinians? in America, with the exception of you and Chris Ruddy at Newsmax and Fox News, can kitch me gay cock and yam, kitch me am tuchus Iran. All right, look that up in your Yiddish dictionary. And shame on any Jewish people that are supporting Hamas. They're terrorists. They're terrorists. No different than the Al-Qaeda or the ISIS. But how about a Palestinian state as a solution to the, to the war? How about the Jewish people have offered a Palestinian state more times than I've had bagels and locks at Cantor's? All right, and Yasser Arafat was offered 96% of the West Bank, and Yasser Arafat, he was probably too busy transferring billions of dollars to his wife's bank account in Paris. Yasser Arafat turned down 96%. And the Jordanians threw out the Palestinians. And why doesn't Saudi Arabia or Dubai or Kuwait help the Palestinians or Egypt? Nobody's helping them. The only ones that ever gave any breaks to the Palestinians was Israel. And those people that they raped on October 7th were helping the people in Gaza. You mean they were sympathetic to them? They, no, they were helping them. They were helping them. They were doing social service. And I don't have any sympathy for the people in Gaza. Zero. 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 Because they elected the Hamas. And you got to know who you elect when you vote for somebody. All right, what else? Well, well, I, I can stay here all night. So how, I like how, how, how much? I like it. How much confidence do you have in uh, in the tabulation if Trump was cheated in 2020? Uh, that's a very good question. This is what we have to do, America. The Democrats are going to try to cheat. They're going to try to steal. We got a GOTV, get out the vote. GOTFE, get out the effing vote. They're going to try everything to steal it. So we got to get so many votes, popular and electoral votes, so that we win it. And that's it. We are in it to win it, and all hands on deck till November 5th. All hands are on deck. They're going to try to cheat. They're going to try to steal. How are you? Shalom Aleichem. How are you? Mapsut. I like Hefak. I speak Arabic too. Mapsut. Mapsut. Alhamdulillah. We are going to win this thing, and there are plenty of Arab Americans that support Trump. And by the way, I'm glad Cory Bush lost in, in uh, St. Louis, and I'm glad that Jabal Moment, another anti-Semite, lost in New York. Now it's time to get rid of AOC. Now it's time to send Rashid Talib back to wherever the hole she crawled out of in Durb, Dearborn or Detroit. No more squad. No more squad. No more squad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, do you believe that uh, Adam Schiff will get reelected no. in California? Adam Schiff is going back to Burbank or Pasadena or whatever hole he crawled out of. The next senator in California will be Dodger, Hall of Famer, and entrepreneur Steve Garvey. And that's why there's no polls in the LA Times. That's why there's no polls on TV. Because when a Republican is moving up, they don't air it on TV. That's how fake the fake news is. Of course, Steve Garvey's gonna, gonna whip Adam Schiff's ass. I don't care what they try to do. I don't care about the software. Just vote Trump. Get out the vote. Vote Trump. Because you know, folks, 
Donald Trump says something that could not be more true. If we elect Kamala Harris, we'll have World War III within one week. How about a civil war in the United States? We'll have that too. I guarantee it. How are you? How are you? Ah, where are you from? China? Ni hao ma. Chinese? Ni hao ma. Xin yan kuai lo kong shi va zai. Xin yan kuai lo kong shi va zai. Ni hui da ping pang. Wow, wow, mama hu hu. Wo si wa yao ming, yao ming. Yao ming, Shanghai. Let me give a shout out to Yao Ming. You know, the Jewish people were rescued in Shanghai. In, in Shanghai. Yes. Okay, make Shanghai great again. Make Yao Ming great again. Wait, wait. My hat made in China. My, my hat made in China. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good luck. Stop genocide. Stop genocide, yeah. Tell that to the people on October 7th that were killed. That are held hostage right now. That was a genocide on October 7th. Uh, no, no. It's only a genocide when, when Arabs are killed. When Jews are killed, it's not a genocide. When, not a genocide. when, when 1,200... I'm sarcastic. I'm yeah. sarcastic. Yeah. Are you, guys, I am so pumped up right now. Fire! Fire! I have never been more pumped up. We're going to win this thing November 5th. And all of you guys that are getting hoodwinked by Kamala and, and Tim Waltz... Melrose, Larry... Yes. How concerned are you about uh, the uh, state of California, considering there's so much has been so much corruption uh, out of Sacramento that's now being duplicated throughout the United States through the uh, Washington uh, uh, Kamala Harris and all the uh, the, the senators, uh, f former California and Nancy uh, uh, Pelosi? Right, I'll give you the answer very quickly. I am blessed to speak Spanish. Can I speak a few words in Spanish? Naturally. I'm going to tell you in English first. Okay, the future of California and the future of the United States is the Hispanic community, okay? And I'm not at all worried because the Hispanic people basically support Republican values, family, church, and hard work. What about welfare? Most of them don't support welfare, okay? Una palabra ahorita en español. El futuro de este gran país, este gran estado, es la comunidad de hispanicos. Familia, trabajo, iglesia. Y yo no tengo ningún problema con esos. Y yo creo que la mayoría de los hispánicos van a votar por Donald Trump en California, en Nueva York, en Colorado, en West Virginia. Y yo, yo no tengo ningún problema con eso. Y yo creo que casamiento es entre hombre y, y mujer. No hombre y hombre. Marriage is a man and an e and a woman. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Marriage is between a man and a woman. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. I see yes. How are you? How are you? Now, if any of you think that marriage should be between a man and a man, well, that's your opinion. I don't think that's the way it should go. Because I'm not married, you see? Huh? You don't see your wedding ring on me. I'm married to myself. <laughs> Is this the greatest interview you've ever done? What else, Scott? What else, Scott? There's nobody else coming from, from Rodeo Drive. Uh, so in, in summation, what would you like the, uh, the patriots of America to do between now and November 4th? Fourth. I want all the patriots of America to sing the following songs, a cappella, with a piano, whatever you do, wherever you go. Here's one, yo, I want you to sing. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies whose amber waves are grain. But how, how's, that, how's that going to uh, rectify the problems in the country? It's going to make us be Americans. Sing God Bless America. God bless America. If that tabulation, if the tabulation comes out uh, a, a counter to the exit polls. Why are Jewish people so so negative? Why are you so negative? No, really? You know why? They're, 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 well, we're, we're realistic. It's no, no, some, no, no, something no. about uh, whatever the tabulation two, says. two millennia no, of you just, you know, curl up in a corner and and die, like they say in that song, yeah. like in, like my, my life. You know that's life. No, no. I do not look at life that way. Too many Jewish people are, are, are looking negative. There's an old joke. You know what Goldberg's law is? What? Murphy was an optimist. It's an old joke in the book. Goldberg's law, uh -huh. Murphy was an optimist. Uh -huh. and you are Murphy, Murphy's law is whatever can go wrong. Will go wrong. No, no, I'm not worried about tabulation. We are gonna win it all. What's up, brother? How you doing? Nice to see you. We're gonna win this whole thing. And all these people that are here, this is part of the movement. I am not worried. I am confident Trump's going to win it all. Why should I vote for Kamala Harris? Why? Somebody, anybody here, tell me one thing Kamala Harris did in the last three years. Anybody? 
What, what did she do uh, she for America? Paycheck. She got a paycheck. Now, what did she do on the border? Nothing. Zero. She went to El Paso. That's not even the border. She went to Juarez. That's like saying, uh, that's like saying, oh, here they are. Here come the marches over here now. Oh, Good. yeah. Okay, let's go over there. Yeah, let's go over there. Take care, guys.